Hey guys, this is Danny with Patrick Adair Supplies here to make the June subscription box. This one's a really special one, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we've got a couple things. So this month we're doing something really special. We've done a resin and shredded cash bar. Um, we're gonna be giving everyone essentially a ring blank, like a little puck of this to make your own ring out of. So what we're gonna do is make a separate video explaining how to do that and showing you the process of making a ring out of the resin. But that's something we're really excited for and that we're gonna be offering in the future. Um, but for the solar stripe ring this month, we've got a couple cool things. So this month we have our brand new offset titanium ring blanks. So what you'll notice is that the inlay channel is extra thin and set off to one side. So it just adds a little bit of a different element and a different depth to your ring so you can create some unique looking rings this way. Um, I'm really excited to work with this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to be able to come up with some cool designs. So go ahead and keep an eye out for these but we're going to be offering these from here on out and we're excited about it. Next up we have our blood orange opal. This is just a really nice vibrant orange. When it catches the light, it just gives off some really nice pale yellows, some bright oranges, occasionally a little bit of red and green in there as well. But it's just a really nice vibrant orange um, opal to work with. And it's one of my favorites as far as orange opals go. Next we have our Bahama blue opal. This one's a little bit more of like a a muted aqua looking blue, so it's not quite as vibrant as some of the other ones, but it's a really nice kind of subtle teal um, aqua color. So it's really fun to work with. I like the look of it. It's not quite as bright as some of the other ones, but it's, it's a good looking blue as well. Then we have our neon orange glow powder, which is just a really nice orange. It has a nice orange daytime color, a really nice vibrant one, I should say and then it glows orange as well. So it's cool to work with because the day and the glow match without having to mix in any daytime color pigments. And then we have our freebie this month, which is just gonna be the shredded cash resin puck that you're gonna be able to make a ring out of. We're gonna make a video explaining how that's done a little bit later on. It should be coming out about the exact same time as this video, but just look for that on your YouTube channels and you'll be able to see how to make a resin ring. It'll be really exciting. Our first step today is to crush our opal. Since we're using the offset inlay channel, the inlay channel itself is a lot smaller than it is in a standard ring. So we just wanna make sure that as we're crushing up the opal, we're crushing it into a fairly fine powder. I like to do it until it's essentially just dust. That way I know for sure that it's going to fit inside of the inlay channel. After you're happy with that, we'll go ahead and just put that in a vial or some sort of container so that you can put it into your inlay channel. So I'm going to be using our super thin C adhesive to create a layer along the inside of the inlay channel. It's a little too thin to use the medium or the thick glue in my opinion. They just don't quite spread or go into the inlay channel as well as I'd like. So I use the super thin. After I go all the way around the ring adding the crushed up opal, I'll go ahead and just put a little bit of the glow powder on top of that and I'm just going to put it over the entire ring and then I'm going to wet it with some super thin CA adhesive just to make sure that we saturate all the way through. Next, I'll hit it with a little bit of accelerator and then we'll let it cure for 15 to 20 minutes. 
After we've allowed that to cure, we're going to go ahead and just start dremeling everything down flush. Since there's a lot more exposed titanium, I'm switching to a 120 grit dremel bit instead of an 80 grit like I normally use. So as I'm dremeling, I'm just making sure to be extra careful to not press too hard because you don't want to put in... <clears throat> as I'm dremeling, I'm making sure not to press too hard because you don't want to damage the titanium by pressing too hard because if you manage to put in any deep scratches while you're dremeling, you're going to cause a lot more sanding work for yourself to be able to recover the smooth titanium. For me with titanium, I really love the look of the brushed finish or not quite the mirror finish with titanium. Um, it reminds me a lot of like Beskar armor from Star Wars or something. Um, so I always start with our 220 grit sandpaper, then I work my way up to 400 grit and then 1000 and I call it good there just because that's the finish that I like. If you really want a nice mirror finish on it, you're just going to have to spend a lot of time sanding on each step. So you'll have to spend a ton of time sanding at 220 grit sandpaper. You'll have to spend a lot of time at 500, 1000, 1200, 1800, 2000. You'll have to go up until about 3000 and just do a lot of sanding on each step. So just if you're looking to get that nice mirror finish, keep that in mind that it will require a lot of sanding. Out. I really love the look of the solar stripe. I think it's cool to have the offset inlay channel. It just adds another dimension to your ring. I really like the look of the orange with the orange and then the one that we did with the blue opal and the blue daytime color. I think that they look really neat. I like the different colors that bounce off of the opal and the really nice vibrant orange of the neon orange glow powder. So I think all together this is a really cool ring and I really enjoyed making it. I hope you like it as much as I did. Thanks for watching.